do is make my stunt man and cannon. So I've got some soap dough. This is just some uh, shimmer blue soap dough with some titanium dioxide in it and this is terracotta red. I'm going to be using these. I've got my large extruder you can get from I, the shop at I Dream in Soap and I've made some, myself some nice extruded discs. So I'm just going to start extruding those. I've got two different types of discs, some big ones that will fit straight into my large extruder and some small ones which with the large extruder I make an adapter plate so if you have small discs those can fit in and still be used in the large extruder tool. Okay so let's get these extruded. nice lot of stuff here so what I'm going to do is start building these together I'm going to start with my cannon first of all so I've got a base of my cannon just sort of like a little triangle shape and then I've got the back half of the cannon front half of a camera cannon in a nice red color and then let's get the right bits a little stripe to go on the top and then I think that's the right one nope a little stripe to go in the middle right so lots of bits let's put these other things away I'm going to join these with just some distilled water now my distilled water is all dark because I have put a little bit of activated charcoal in it just because there's a couple of times where I join a light, the same colours together and I do want to see a little bit of difference between them. <laughs> you probably hear that rain bashing down outside. Okay so just some distilled water in between the joins. him. <laughs> He's a good stick, isn't he? because I was a little bit careless as I was moving some stuff around and I put something on top of this bit of soap dough that I'd already extruded and it dented it so therefore I've just cut the dented bit out okay, now whilst your soap dough is a bit wet it is a little bit slippery but as this dries off a bit that water will really hold everything nice and firmly into place Okay, so once I've got it as I'm happy with it, I want to get it moved on to where I want it and then I'm going to stop mucking around with it. Here's everything done. Okay, I know they look a little bit dirty, but I can just wipe over those when they're all nicely set up. Remember, that's just some activated charcoal. So that's my cannon and this is going to be my stunt person. 
I'm going to let them set for a few hours, probably even till tomorrow morning because it's sort of quite late in the afternoon here now. And then we'll put them into the soap when we're sure that all of those bits of water in there have bonded that soap together. We well, now the next morning, I let those embeds set up overnight so they're lovely and firm now. What I've got here is two little bits of soap that I've split out, 60% in here, 40% in here. What these are going to be are the sort of flame, the explosion coming out of the top of the cannon. And I'm going to do that by piping the top on. So I've got some terracotta red here, do a red bit of a flame. And then here is some sunshine yellow. Okay, so I've done slightly more red than I have yellow. So what I'm just doing at the moment is just mixing those up and then I'm going to let them sit until they get to a nice piping consistency. Now piping bag wise, I've just got some small reusable piping bags. Um, I'm not really sure what tips I need. So as a bit of a guess, I've gone for sort of one of these large leaf tips. This is a Wilton 103 for, that's gonna be for my red. And then for my yellow, the sort of more spiky bit in the middle of the flame, I've just gone for sort of a, a flowery shaped one. This is a Wilton 74 tip. Okay, but it's just a random guess on what I'm gonna need. My piping has set up nicely now and I've made it reasonably, really quite stiff. And this is, do you remember that embed that we made yesterday? This is the cannon and it's nice and set up as well because I left that overnight. So I'm just gonna add the red and yellow on here and just gradually build it up. <laughs> So I'm just going to mix up the first layer. Each layer is going to be pretty simple. So it's just put my oil and lye together. Now this first layer is going to be a solid colour. So I'm just going to add my colour straight into my oils as I blend those up. enough for now let's add our fragrance oil the fragrance I'm using today is grapefruit bergamot from nurture soap okay so I think that's us done let's get our lovely mold in so this is going to be a very simple layer along the bottom and then I'm just going to put my cannon in there as well. now and I just put a lolly stick in there you can see where I've got a little mark kind of in the green there I put a lolly stick in there just to support it whilst 
that batter thickened up. So this next row, this has got some antique silver in it. And what this is going to be is going to, if you imagine sort of a, a field with this cannon in it or a circus tent is what it's going to be. This is going to be sort of like the barrier in front of the crowd. So I'm going to get this poured in. It's all set up. I'm going to use a spatula anyway just because I'm a bit of a coward. with our sort of barrier so let's do my next level which is the crowd so what I'm trying to do is sort of make it not too detailed I want to don't want to be able to see all the individual little people but what I do want to do is give sort of an impression that there are people so I'm going to start off with a thin layer of one color this is just some ooh la la mica And then what I'm going to do is I've got some other colours. I've got emerald green in, sorry, emerald lagoon in here and some purple heart in here and then some activated charcoal in here. So I'm just going to go on dropping in sort of dots and things first, sort of trying to create different colours that would give the impression that you've got people in the stands wearing different colour clothes. Now I'm not going to tap that down because I like the fact that this has left like little lumps, almost as if they're people shaped heads. Whether that will actually show up on the sofa or not, I don't know, but I don't want to deliberately get rid of them. So again, going to leave that to set up and then we'll come back and we've really just got sort of one more level before our little stuntman goes in. So this is just going to be our very top layer. Now it's yellow, not blue, because I'm, I'm sort of looking that we're actually inside a circus tent. So I'm not looking to do sky on the top. Okay, so let's just get that poured on. I think we're set up enough now to get our little stunt person in. So I want to pop them in. Hopefully in a good angle so that they're aiming back at the fire. Okay, and then I'm just going to get his little crash helmet in at the top here. And I'm deliberately doing it so that it's sticking out of the soap. I wanted him bursting through the top of the soap. That was my plan. I haven't, I haven't miscalculated this or anything. Right, let's get this crash helmet lined up. Okay. And then the cape. that this little bit keeps popping apart which has been a bit 
bit annoying but hopefully that will be okay so I'm just going to leave that like that gel it overnight and then we'll come back and see what we've got tomorrow Here's our soap the next day. Now, foolishly, I forgot to turn my microphone on when I was recording. That's why I'm doing a voiceover. So let's just get this soap cut. Now, while we're just waiting for this to cut through, I don't know if I mentioned at the start of the video, but this is going to be the first soap in a little mini series of four circus themed soaps. So there'll be a few other circus soaps coming up as well. Right, let's have a look at some of the soaps. I do know I was really quite pleased with these. I thought they looked really cute. So just have a look at some of... I'm going to try and guess some of the things that I was saying. First of all, I think I'm talking about the crowd. I kind of like the crowd, but I'm not 100% happy with it. It sort of looks a little bit like a flower bed. So maybe mixing up those colours a bit more would have been good. But I do like the heads and I like the way that I've got the little round bits popping up rather than them being a solid flat line. Other than that, the lines do you remember how i joined the embeds together i added a little bit of activated charcoal in my distilled water and that's helped us get a nice line in the bottom of the cannon there and then also in the stuntman where we've got his clothing and the arm you can actually see that separate to his body rather than it being all joined together but other than that, I'm really pleased with it. I do think he looks really cute. I'm really pleased with how he's come out. And let's have a look at this next bar that we've got. I think I'm just pointing out, yes, in the middle there, can you see with the flame? There's a little hole in the middle of the flame and that's because I piped the flame if you remember and what that has obviously led to is every now and again the soap has not been completely filled into all of the holes because of the nature of the way that the piping was done. But that's no problem, I can easily fill that with a little bit of the sides that get bevelled off. And then I'll just leave you with the final photo of the soap. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you like the soap. If you have, it'd be great if you gave me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see what I'm making in the future, why don't you subscribe to my channel? Thanks for watching, everyone. Happy soaping.